what's up you guys it is a touch of mimi and i am with you today making red velvet pancakes right now you see me making the cream cheese syrup sauce whatever you want to call it um it's kind of just like the cream cheese icing that you would put on your red velvet cake so i've already poured a little bit of milk in it and now i um and putting some powdered sugar in it you want to sift this you guys sifting your powdered sugar will make it much much lighter and not as clumpy but you will see as the video goes on that it will get clumpy but at the end it'll be smoother so just keep gradually adding milk powdered sugar milk powdered sugar until it gets to the consistency that you like All right, so now that you done got your new muscles from whipping it up, this is what your cream cheese mixture should look like. Very smooth, no clumps. And now we're about to jump right into the pancakes. So we are gonna jump right into it. I don't wanna hear nobody that I know talking about, oh Mimi, I thought you made everything from scratch. You make everything from scratch. I do, Pooh, I do. But I wanted to make my first video something easy that everyone could achieve. So we are using a red velvet cake um, mix. Yeah, so it's real easy. You guys do not follow the directions on the back of the box. That's not necessary. So I'm just adding my dry ingredients first. And then you're gonna see me um, start to mix them all together. And then I'm gonna go in with my wet ingredients. Okay guys, now I am adding the milk. Please pay close attention. I am only adding one cup of the milk that is requested in the recipe. Um, this is because I am gonna just keep adding gradually until I get to the consistency that I like. Some people make their pancakes um, batter very loose. Some make them thick. So I'ma just keep adding a little bit, like a little bit until I get it to where I want it to be. And I want you to do the same. Yep, and this is when my arm started hurting, so I tried to switch it up with the wrist game. That still ain't work. <laughs> All right, you guys, now for the moment we've all been waiting for, you're gonna spray you some butter or put you some butter off in your pan or on your griddle. Make sure that temperature is perfect and then dollop your mix in your pan. Um, I like to use a measuring cup for mine just because I'm a perfectionist. So I like my pancakes to be the same exact size. So yeah, but you don't have to if you don't want to. But anyways, um. Yeah, we just gonna wait like two to three minutes per side because this is like cake batter and um, not like regular pancake mix. So it takes a little bit longer to actually cook. <laughs> 